Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things. And in this video, I tried out some new makeup. Oh boy, was it an adventure. And if you wanna know what I tried and how it all went, then keep on watching. Let's go. Okay, so to start my makeup off today, we have a primer, but before I prime, I don't know, can you tell that I put some glowy stuff on? If you wanna know what I used. I mixed two products. So I used this L'Oreal Plime Bronze Tinted Self Tanning Lotion. So it's basically like a tinted sparkly thing. And then I added in a little bit of Benefit Sunbeam together and I just used like a stipply brush and I just it in and that's all I did. Now I wanna try something. So in BoxyCharm we've gotten the No Pore Bloom Primer and the No Pore Bloom Prime Essence, but I also, have this sample of the No Pore Bloom Priming Water, and I have no idea what the difference is, so I kind of just want to squirt the three on my hand and feel the difference first. So, we have No Pore Bloom Primer, which is like a thicker consistency, then I definitely know the essence is super, like, watery. So it's this one here. But what the? Yeah, it, it sounds watery like the essence. So it definitely is more of the essence and the wateriness. So what is the difference? So the essence has Calendula officialis flower extract and the water has the Bulgarian toning water and essential oil. I don't know what that means, but I do like the other two no pore bloom primers. So I'm excited to try it out. I mean, usually with the essence, I just kind of drip it on and then drip it in. Okay, so I don't know if you noticed, but the color of my skin is not the color of my body. So we're gonna try a foundation today. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Perfector Blurring Skin Tint with Sunscreen. And the shade I have is eight. So this is a free sample I got from Sephora. So I'm kind of hoping that this will match my body. And I'm going to use a BH Cosmetics number 123 brush to do this. So I think it's dark enough. I don't know what the coverage is on this because it's a skin tint, but we're gonna find out. This is why I'm using a brush too because I'm assuming it's really lightweight and I don't want the sponge to soak it all up. Oh, it's dark. This is the first time in a while I've put on a foundation that was too dark for me. So this is just entertaining. So, I mean, this is fine because I'll just, when I powder, I'll make sure I do something to lighten it up. But I definitely would call it a skin tint. It did not cover anything except it tinted my skin. Oh my. Oh me, oh my. Okay. <laughs> So I'm going to go deal with this and hopefully it will be a little lighter looking when I get back. Okay, let me go through what I did. So I set under my eyes with the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder and I lightly touched up the rest of my face with the J.Cat Aqua Shorns Powder in Ivory. Oh, I forgot to say what I concealed with. I concealed with the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Concealer. For eyeliner, I used the Urban Decay Glide On in Perversion. I used the Shady Slim Pencil in my eyebrows. And then I set my lids with the CoverGirl True Naked Queenship in 905. Okay, the first product I want to play with is a brow gel. This is the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. I am very loyal to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. So I want to know if this is as good because it's a lot cheaper. Why is it impossible to open? It has a big wand, even bigger than the Anastasia wand. Okay, I'm gonna let it sit now and see how it dries and then I'll do the full analysis. Oh boy, I decided to be brave and try another, another pigment because I haven't had great luck with pigments. So I have the Lion here from ColourPop and it is this color 
then I'm going to, oh gosh, okay. I'm going to dip my brush in and spray it with Fix Plus and see how that works. Dipped in, oh boy. I think I'm gonna spray it down. All right, I'm like kind of mixing it even in the lid a little just to make sure we don't get too much. And I am using the Alamar Cosmetics flat brush that came in a BoxyCharm. So right now on my lids, I have the CoverGirl Queen Ship. I didn't set it down. I'm just hoping this all works. Because I want something very subtle on the lid today because we are going to try a eyeliner. So I don't want too much going on up here. Oh, why is it so wet? I swear I'm getting Fix Plus in my eye. Ah, oh, it burns. All right. I did something wrong again the freaking pigments every time I need a second okay we're back so now I'm just going in to the dry and I'm just kind of adding oh the fallout okay Dip that. one day I will figure out how to use these pigments man it looks really pretty I just never know what I'm doing going on to the next eye went in too deep Fix Plus again. What is wrong with me? I just am not very good at this, is what I'm concluding to. I think I need to retire from buying pigments anymore. Not, not that I have bought more, I just made one order where I purchased a few. You know what, we're gonna keep it like that for now and try out this eyeliner I have because we need to take a break. I'm very nervous about this eyeliner too actually. So this is what came in the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. This is a Suba Beauty Hydra Liner. And it's a cake eyeliner which basically means I need to wet it to use it. So I thought this might work for my hooded eyes because if it really does dry then it wouldn't transfer is what I'm hoping. My Ipsy Bag did not come with the actual little brush it was supposed to come with. They wound up running out of brushes, so they sent me a replacement liquid eyeliner. Plus they let me customize another item for my July box, so it's fine. I do have the just regular, it doesn't have a name on it, Morphe pencil liner here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and add a little water to the cap just to wet the brush, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I grabbed some water. I also decided to throw a little bit of bronzer in my lid. This is the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer. I am so nervous. I am so bad at liner. So I'm going to dip the brush into the water. Okay. Here we go. Fluff, I got some right there. Go away. <laughs> Uneven wings are us. My issue right now isn't the way the aligner's applying, is it's not fully opaque, like covering. I don't know if you can tell. It's like I can still see all the pigment through. Like it's not covering the pigment. I'll go over it one more time. Hmm. Well, I don't wear wings too often, but I'm really not liking the way this looks. And it's totally because it's not, I've put three layers on and I can still see the pigment coming through the liner. Hmm. Not really digging that. So, I'm going to go bronze and blush and then I have a highlighter to try. It is just one of those videos where it feels like nothing is going right. So, oh my God. So it was driving me so crazy how bad the eyeliner was looking that I wound up going into my chocolate gold palette and setting it with the black, setting it with the matte black shadow to actually make it black. And then I actually wound up going in with a little bit of 
cocoa truffle in the crease because I felt like my eyes were disappearing because of my hooded eyes and it just was looking really bad. I bronzed with the e.l.f. primer infused bronzer and for my blush I use this Lovecraft Beauty palette in the shade Althea right here. Now for a highlighter. I have a Becca highlighter. This is Moonstone. I have no idea if this shade is going to work. It does look a little golden, but I am tan. So we have the Luxie 522 brush here. Let's see what this does. Ooh, that is pretty. I might use my pinky and put a little in the inner corner because this look could use all the saving it can get. <laughs> yeah, I really do like that. I've been pretty picky with Becca highlighters in the past, so I don't really love them all, but I do like this shade. All right, quick set with the Flower Beauty Seal the Deal. Now I'm going to try a new mascara. I have a little sample of this Lash Domination Volumizing Mascara from Bare Minerals. I've never tried a Bare Minerals mascara before. Oh my god, it's so tiny. <laughs> it's the size of my nose. Okay, let's see how this works. Let's first check out the wand. Oh, it's a spiral wand. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, there's one eye with, one eye without. It's interesting. It definitely like lifts and separates. I don't know about volumizing, but not too bad so far compared to other things we've done today. Last product is a matte liquid lipstick from Persona Cosmetics. I personally bought this from Ulta because I really liked the shade I had. So this is the shade Flamingo. I'm very interested to try some of their reds, their red matte lipsticks and their glosses. That is very pink. It is a very comfortable formula though, I will give it that. Just looking in the mirror here, not my favorite makeup look I've done. Let's do a quick wrap up of everything we have. The No Pore Blum Priming Water seemed really awesome. I feel like my skin looks good. I also do like this Makeup Forever Skin Tint. Those were how we started off on a really good foot. Let's feel the brows. Hmm. I think it's going to be a good drugstore brow setter. That being said, it does not make my brows feel the way the Anastasia one does. So, I would not call this a dupe. The Lion Pigment. It looks pretty. I just am not good with pigments and there are so much in each of these little jars. I need to figure out how to be better. Hated the Suva Cake Liner. Really disappointed in this, honestly. Probably the most disappointed I am in this whole video. The Moonstone Highlighter, I really like a lot. The Lash Domination Mascara looks good. Be interested to see the wear of it and if it flakes or not. And finally, the Flamingo Lipstick. I mean, it is pink. So if you like pink, this is very pink. But like I said, it does fully dry down, but it is not a painful formula. Let's take the hair down, get the full effect here. And yeah, that is it for this video. Let me know in the comments, have you guys tried any of these products? How did they work out for you? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. As usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.